what's up guys to bomb here from space pineapple and welcome to a new game on the channel it's called rivals of ether as you could probably tell from the title and this is a little intro that has started because i didn't push a button yay is this just the trailer in pixel form it appears so okay There you go, that's the intro. Perfect. Let's press Z. Okay, we got some options here. We got local, online, options, extras, exit. Let's have a play around in some of these. We got custom colors. I like this music. It's very chill. Might turn it up a bit. Play around with my settings. Okay, that should do it. Let's just go on the local. I'll move my cursor off screen. Versus solo, versus settings back. Check it out 1v1, free for all, team battle, play story abyss. So, by the looks of it, the trailer, it seems to be a bit like um, Smash Bros. I'm just gonna hop in and do a story mode. What are we doing here? Okay, so we got all the characters, different stories. So we got... Orcane. Zetaburn. Uh, Forsburn. Um, Maple. Crag. Raston. Rastor, sorry. And that's it. Just gonna turn the volume down. Because that is very loud. Okay, who should we do first? I have no idea. I'm just gonna spam random buttons. Okay, we're gonna do Craig. Let's just start. Craig. Craig's life is slow and meditative. His people, the wall builders, devote their entire lives to maintaining the great rock wall. They alone wield the power to manipulate great masses of stone. Most wall builders are born on the wall and will circle the whole etherina forest three times during their lifetimes, never setting foot on the ground below. Sounds boring. Rival. Okay, fire lion and men. Fire lion men. Zeta burn. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we gotta jump. Oh, get wrecked. Ow. Oh, I'm on fire! Ow. Oh, get wrecked, son. I'm just button mashing here. This is a very quiet game. Oh, hello. I just lifted a rock. Ow! I want to hit you with this. You piece of sh That's what you get. There we go. He's gone. Okay, that was a fair bit like Smash Bros. Stage one done. Yay. Okay, there's a break in the wall. One day Craig comes... One day Craig comes upon a huge breach in the northern wall. He has never seen such destruction, and he fears what threat might have entered the forest. Okay, we got water whale. We got weird water whale. Why are we fighting these guys? They could help us.
Ow. Oh shit. Ow. Nailed it. What what is this? Damn, son, you fell right into my trap. That was sort of easy. 30 seconds. What we got next? Craig summons the rocks to begin repairing the wounded wall. A laborious process. A laborious process, excuse me. You must heal it quickly to protect the precious... Etherina forest from outside threats. Suddenly, the unthinkable happens. Craig is attacked from inside the wall. We got weird fire wolf thing. Okay, your city's on fire. Come here, Lush. Beat the crap out of you. Well, I've actually sustained more damage than he has. Okay, now there's two of them. Oh my god, move! That's what you get. <laughs> Why is there smoke everywhere? I mean, apart from the thing that we're fighting on top of a burning building, but why is it down here? There we go. Just attack it and it leaves. Okay. Don't know if I hit the clone or the actual guy. Either way, it still works. Craig's rock-bound mind can barely process what he sees. Okay, so he's a dumbass. The Great Wall was made to protect the treetop dwellers but now one of them is mounting an assault from within. Well, he sounds like a little shit. Okay, we got Airhawk. Oh, the Airhawk, and it's revolutionary. Oh, I've still got the same amount of damage from last time. Okay. I'm getting my buttons mixed up. Can I just do this all day? Seems to be working. Ow. Crap, I've only got one life left. I don't know how to block, but he obviously does. Done. Yeah. I'm getting cashola. Outrage Craig steps off the wall for the first time in his life to confront the treetop traitor. <gasps> he stepped off the wall. He'll get in trouble for that, maybe. Maple vigilante the forest. Meanwhile, bystanders gather. The treetop dwellers see only Craig trespassing on the forest floor. Well, he's protecting it, so I think he's allowed to trespass. To attack one of their own, outraged, they vow retaliation on their former allies, the war builders. Well, maybe they shouldn't think so quickly and get all the information before they assume things. Okay, I'm assuming this is gonna be hard. That's what she said. Bye, dude. Oh, damn, he's got two lives. I've only got one. No! Oh. Game over. Continue. Never give up. Okay, plus a minute. I don't care as long as I get to go back to that. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, I guess who's got three lives now, bruh? Huh? What you gonna do about that?
Oh my god, stop juggling me. What is circling me? Bye-bye! That's what I thought, you little shit. I'm not gonna say the word, because then I'll have to blur it out later on in editing. No, get up! Get up! No, oh, you piece of crap. Oh, come on! Hit him! God's sake! The button mashing isn't working. Okay, this guy seems to like control plants or something. Me little crap. Bye bye. That gives me the game. Okay, total time five minutes, that's nothing. To Craig's amazement, the purple treetop dweller vanish vanishes. I think he's on that rock behind you with all his tentacles. May Reed, May Reed youngest sister of Maple. Wow, great naming parents. Approaches and drops a letter from, to the forest floor. Okay. The letter, I thought this guy's a dumbass, he shouldn't be able to read. The letter explains that the shadowy warrior couldn't have been the real Maple because she left moons ago to find the source of the strange purple disease in the forest. Well, maybe the disease infected her. Did you think of that? And now she's evil. <laughs> Predictable. Craig, Craig realizes that the only way to protect his beloved wall and forest is to leave them. Why? Wouldn't he be able to stay and then protect it and it'll be better protected if he's there? Mayreed sends Lily with Craig to help him track down Maple on her quest. Character cleared. Okay. Right, so I think there's like an order maybe to do this. I don't know. And then once you get them all, you got this locked part. What else we got here? Play story mode to unlock this. Train with the CPU and experiment with gameplay variables. Okay. Let's go into practice and... Who we got here? We got Craig. We got all these other guys. And then we got these locked people over here. Let's try Airhawk. The Airhawk can help you out of a bad situation. Oh, we got random. Let's just go random. Okay, we got treetops. Huh, huh. And he's dead. This isn't really providing much of a challenge. What is this? Okay, this is weird. I'm just gonna... Oh, damn, I can change game speed. Oh, damn! What else we got here? Frame advanced, don't know what that is. Show hitboxes, okay. I don't know what DI lines are, but sure. Here we go. Crouch, jump, run, parry, roll, fight, evade, stand. Let's go to fight. CPU damage, whatever. DI, drift, tech. Oh, damn, hitboxes. Is he going to fight back? Oh, it shows directions. Like when I do this, it can you can see the. It shows the direction you will hit the other character. That is clever, developers. I like your thinking. But this guy's not fighting. What else we got in here? 
I'll do a second video on this with more solo. Let's try versus mode. Let's turn some teams on. We'll be red. You guys be whatever. What other colors we got? Red and blue, okay. Do they have to be random? Oh, here we go. CPU. There we go. CPU. Level 5, that'll do. Um, let's set them... I was gonna say random, but then we don't want them to be uh, Maple and Airhawk Man, because I can't... I'm gonna call him that, because I can't pronounce his name. The Airhawk comes with several air nozzles for a wide variety of uses. Let's go Water Whale. Or Cane, I should say. Excuse me. And... Whatever the hell this guy is. These guys are all at level 5. Okay. Let's go this one. There we go. Whoa, the wall's breaking. Okay. You wanna know who broke the wall? This fight. Yeah, bye bye, guy. Let's destroy this one. <laughs> no whale. Oh, this guy does have the infinite jump. And I just died. Oh, that was lucky. Damn. This guy is smoking all over the place. Whoa, I just went flying. I have no idea what is happening. What does that do? Does it like make me more powerful while I'm in it? Or... I'm just pushing random buttons here. for a second. This whale is extremely hard to knock off the field because he keeps teleporting back on. There we go. And he's out. Okay. I suppose I should go and help my teammate because he's getting his ass kicked. There we go. Hell yeah. I got my fist in front of his face. Awesome. Alright, what else does this game have to offer? Okay, so I don't think there's any online features at the moment, which is great. I reckon I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Please like and subscribe if you want to subscribe, that is. And I'll do more on this, more story in the next video. But like it, so I know that it's that you want to see more of this. And I'll see you on the next video. So yeah. Airhawk is a solid, durable tool that you'll use all the time.